drinking a way, ignoring the poison. I guess that makes me a whore. Yeah. Yeah. How's a king of flex on that mid range? Hurts. It's there. 2K. Strong. Good. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. How's it going? Pretty good over here. We're just mixing down the new envelope right here. Yeah. That's one of my favorite knobs. It's a good one. The flex is the Google. Very well. Have you met Chikati? Oh, hi. Hi, guys. This is Chikati Songs. He's the producer of this record. And we're just in here mixing and stuff because we kind of did a unique uh, recording process on this EP. Yeah, um, everything's analog as you may be able to tell. This is uh, Google Plexer. It analogs to analog for analog uh, compression and digital enhancement but without the digital because it's completely analog. Keeps it very analog. Yeah. It's the way the settlers made records. Yeah. record. Holy fuck, you guys hear that fucking verse? Adam, what did I just record that verse to? Well, Tony. Okay, so this could go either way. It was recorded on the J210C 8 track. As you can see here, 8 tracks across one inch of tape. Watch out for that lamp. That's how the, <laughs> how the Beatles did it, you know, that type of thing. Here's the next down tape. Now, a lot of people do their tracks on, on analog tape, but it's getting more and more rare that people, especially uh, on a rap record, mix down to analog tape. So that's what we did. Went from eight tracks through the Soundcraft console to the two track here. So, so interesting thing about keeping this whole record analog is when you go to put the record in order, uh, you don't have a computer to do it. You sit down with a razor blade and you put the record in order. So. Take the razor blade. Hack it just like that. Cool. You got your splice. Got a, a little bit quieter. Simple as that. One of my favorite artists of all time is Bing Crosby. <laughs> right. Tell me a little something about Bing Crosby's influence on the recording process. Bing Crosby America. spent a bunch of his money and dumped it into the Ampex Corporation uh, to develop magnetic recording as a viable technology. Most people say he did it because he wanted his, his records to sound better than everybody else's records. So, right after World War II, he spent like, I don't know, a hundred zillion dollars of his own money, dumped it into a small company called Ampex, and put magnetic recording into wide use. Hey Adam, who did we beat in World War II? looking at them up and ups, man, I wanna fly high, I'm oh, hey. lucky duck, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this time here, Adam Smith and Chikati Soms. All you audio nerds and historians, we got some, uh, Great shit here. Problem one pot solution. Look for the EP, October 15th, the year 2011. Ah, it's fucking done. Right. Yeah, you can say I'm lucky, duck, yeah. Can't say that luck's enough when I'm down here looking at them up and ups, man. I wanna fly high, but I'm lucky, duh. Yeah, you can say that I'm lucky, duh. Say that luck's enough when I'm down here looking at them up and ups, man. I wanna fly high, but I'm lucky, duh.